So what are some of the other uh, current projects that Magnet has going on that you'd like to highlight? Sure. Um, I think that there are a few, a few things kind of going on, and uh, two of them are, you know, invitations to join our, well, one is to obviously uh, join our, our network, Media Action Graphics Network, and folks can find out about Magnet um, online, and our website is uh, www.nag-net.org. Find out a lot more info there. But we have um, two cohorts that we're kicking off, and my cohorts really mean, you know, bringing together folks um, who are working on, uh, working in the same field, who want to figure out how to continue to collaborate, exchange information, have a space, a space to, 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 to really strategize, and a space to kind of talk through ideas. And so our two cohorts that we're launching um, that are led by members, but they're open. Um, one is the art and culture cohort to bring together um, artists and artist organizations, media groups who are um, working on whether it's storytelling or arts or media projects uh, in, uh, for social justice, right? Um, so it's bringing folks together uh, around that. And then the other one is community media. Um, and so that's like public access stations, community radio stations, folks who are trying to start their own community media center, the broadband network, that's a place for folks to kind of come together um, and strategize and dream and, and discuss that kind of thing. Um, and then I would say uh, another big issue we're going to be taking on as a network is around privacy and security. Um, and so when the NSA uh, scandal broke out um, around the um, so we're listening. Uh, the government, you know, listening to all, recording, listening to all, all phone, our phone calls. Magnet and Center for Media Justice jumped on really early and worked with uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Um, for us, we want to bring a perspective of folks who are most uh, directly affected by, um, could be potentially most directly affected by these issues, right? Like undocumented immigrants and uh, formerly incarcerated people or, um, you know, other folks of color. Um, Communities that may not know how this can really impact them, um, but that uh, it actually has huge implications. So for us, we've been involved, and we, you know, obviously this has been the last couple of days that this has all been happening. We joined a coalition. Um, we're working with Free Press and some others around this issue. Um, so that kind of falls that the NSA particular NSA case it falls within the larger umbrella of uh, privacy security and data tracking that we're going to be kind of taking on. Um, again, you know, surveillance and tracking is a huge issue for, for many, many communities. And it's been going on for a long time, we all know that. Uh, but now it's like named, it's exposed, it's out there. Um, and uh, we want to look at it not just on phones, right, but like, you know, uh, online online tracking um, and, then, and then mobile tracking um, and how is that information being used, how is it being mined, um, and, and I think that us as, um, as um, citizens or, you know, residents of this country, like, we, we, we think we have an idea, but it's actually, like, a hundred times worse right. than that as far as how we're being surveilled. Um, that's a huge, huge, huge issue uh, that we're going to be working on. And we're going to continue working on the campaign for business on justice until we get a victory, until we see these rates being lowered. So those are, just, like, the, the major... I'll say the major things we're working on in community radio. I mean, that effort continues even past October. Um, so for us, that's really a really, really, really important um, long-term commitment.